when I was teaching the useless, stupid, fraudulent, prosperity gospel, I was celebrated by everyone. I was after sought. They sought for me everywhere. Nobody opposed me. I had no persecution for once. You are in you, you know. In this town, I preached prosperity until I was lost inside. I couldn't find my way. Totally lost. I preached deliverance. I did deliverance in this town till I went from street to street, junction to junction, casting out demons. I've done it all. I've done it all. I can collect money from Satan. If Satan appears, I can collect money from him. I said to God, is this all that there is to ministry? Four keys to success, three keys to breakthrough, 45 keys, 40 steps, how to make it, pillars of prosperity. And I know that none of them is true. I even knew that some of the scriptures I was quoting, there was something wrong with them. John 18 19 the high priest then asked Jesus of his disciples and of his doctrine so the reason why they crucified him was for his teaching his mode of explanation that already shows you that when you start teaching it right you'll be persecuted you know why I know I'm, I'm, I'm above all things else you know why I know that what I'm doing is the right thing you know why when I was teaching the useless stupid fraudulent prosperity gospel I was celebrated by everyone I was after sought they sought for me everywhere America Europe Canada Nigeria they were looking for me everywhere nobody opposed me I had no persecution for once not even for once when I began to teach the useless deliverance gospel I was celebrated because I would just come and throw people down throw them down and when they're on the floor confused I empty their pockets and we're gone everybody wanted me the moment I started teaching Christ everybody started leaving me now I know I'm doing the right thing they all started leaving me Jesus' mode of explanation departed from the norm departed from the norm and when i started preaching this then persecution started oh persecution then i know that okay now i am in right company after preaching for several years i became empty i became empty and unfulfilled when you are in you you know in this town <laughs> leave that thing I am the Baba for prosperity. You all know me. I'm the Baba for prosperity. I preached prosperity until I was lost inside. I couldn't find my way. Totally lost. I preached deliverance. I did deliverance in this town till I went from street to street, junction to junction, casting out demons. I've done it all. I've done it all. I can collect money from Satan. If Satan appears, I can collect money from him. I said to God, is this all that there is to ministry? Preach, raise money, and be happy? Is that all? Collect money, raise money, promise people things that I know is not Bible? Four keys to success, three keys to breakthrough, 45 keys, 40 steps, how to make it, pillars of prosperity. And I know that none of them is true. I even knew that some of the scriptures I was quoting, there was something wrong with them. Scriptures like give and it shall be given, good measure, praise down, shaking together, running over, shall men give to your bosom, has nothing to do with money. Dr. Edel Damina is the founder and senior pastor of Power City International, aka Edel Damina Ministry International. He was known to be the famous prosperity preacher in Nigeria. He teaches that if you need anything from God, you have to bring money to get it. If you are not a titan, devourers will live in your house. So when you pay your tax, I, Jehovah, I will rebuke the devourer. I'm believing God for money, I sow money. I'm believing God for a car, I sow money. I'm believing God for a job, I sow money. I'm believing God for promotion, I sow money. I'm believing God for a wife, I sow money. I'm believing God for a husband, I sow money. I'm believing God for children, I sow money. You can literally collect money from anybody when he stands to preach the prosperity message. I am the Baba for prosperity. You all know me. I can 
collect money from Satan. If Satan appears, I can collect money from him. He proposed that the work of Jesus is finished, but that you still have to do something to get it. Somebody says, so why will I sow money if I'm believing God for wife? You want to sow wife, do you have? Somebody say, why money? Because money answered As long as the earth remains, seed time happens, shall not cease. The works we are finished. But there are things we must do to make those works that Jesus did for us manifest in our lives. You are believing God for promotion, so money. You are believing God for car, so money. You are believing God for wife, so money. You are believing God for children, so money. So when you start praying, once you have put your seed down and you start calling the things that be not as though they were, the seed with your words combined together will produce manifestation. But now he recognizes that all of that is fraud. Saying that a believer needs to bring something to receive what Jesus provided for free is an insult to the work of redemption. He didn't supply you grace, expecting anything in return. So when a man of God says, give money to be blessed, it's an insult to the work of redemption.